ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event! Let's get ready to rumble! Y'all ready for this? Hi everybody, it's Doreen, and I'm back today with a finished project. So this is not going to be basically a tutorial on how to do something. This is going to be an already finished project. But if I get enough requests, I will do a tutorial on how I made this project. Now, I got the idea from Loretta. And her YouTube channel is TKDGALSAMM. So... I'm going to put a link to her project up here somewhere in the video. So let's go ahead and I'm going to get started and show you my finished project. Now this was a gift that I made for my son who happens to be a chef. And he went to the Le Cordon Bleu school to learn how to become a chef. So I wanted to make him something a little special to keep his recipes in because he has a little, a lot of recipes that he comes up with on his own and ideas and so forth. And he just writes them down on scrap sheets of paper. So this is my project and it is a recipe mini album. So what I've done is I've taken some cardstock and this was just some single sheet of cardstock that I found at Joann's and I wanted to make another one for myself but I couldn't find this paper I got this on the clearance rack at Joann's so for the front of the mini album what I've done is I've gone ahead and used Erica or my silhouette and cut out this little ribbon label and on there I've typed out the words from the kitchen of Keith G and G is his the first initial of his last name and then I have also taken some of the Jolie stickers and just put them on the front now this mini album you can't put a lot of things in here because you don't want it to um, be too big we already know what happened when I made the last mini album I put too much stuff in there and I couldn't close it so with this one I didn't add a lot of embellishments I added a lot of stickers but not embellishments so that it would be able to, um, or he'd be able to close it. So the other thing that I've done is I found this pen with his name on it. And it looks like this. And I apologize for the glare. But it spells out Keith. And then the box that the pen came in was a little box like this. And it actually had what the name Keith means and it says a charming person with a good sense of humor and my son does have a good sense of humor he always makes me laugh whenever I was having a bad day even when he was younger he used to always make me laugh so what I've also done is just gone ahead and taken some twine so that I can close the album up and it just unties like this so we'll start off with our first page and I made that a appetizer page and I've taken and put some pictures of some of the appetizers that he's made previously at parties and so forth. Now I took these and I used Erica to cut them out and I printed them out on my printer and then cut them out using Erica and the same thing with the letters for the word appetizers this was also some lettering or a SVG file that I used to cut using Erica. And then I have some recipe cards that I picked up. I didn't I wasn't able to find in the recipe cards like Loretta did at Michael's. I went to four different Michaels and nobody had them anymore. So I actually found these at a Hallmark store. So unfortunately they weren't a dollar. But I could have gone ahead and made my own, but I decided to go ahead and use these. And I stamped out um, just loving from the oven. And the stamps that I stamped the inside the mini album are from a stamp set that's by Scrappy Mom. It's different um, kitchen sayings or bake, bake sayings or recipe sayings. So 
on this page, I just went ahead and took some more of the stickers from the Jolie set and put those on the front here. These all came as one set. The, these and the ones that are on the front of the album all came together. So then once you open up this side over here, what I've done is just made like a little title page. And when my husband and I went to D.C. for our anniversary last year, I picked my son up this apron. And on the front of the apron, it says, Hail to the Chef. And it's got the um, seal of the White House on the apron. So I just went ahead. And he took a picture of this and sent it to me one night when he had cooked a meal. And he had the apron on. So I just added that as like a little title page. And I have Hail to the Chef up here. And then I just have his name down here at the bottom. And then over here I have some pictures of when he was attending the Cordon Bleu in Las Vegas. So now over here on this side I have the words desserts. Which once again I've gone ahead and cut out using my silhouette and I printed them out and then cut it out with the silhouette and this was also an SVG file. As a matter of fact all of my sayings for what each recipe card is all came from the silhouette from that same SVG file. And then I have a picture of some dessert that he made at a picnic that he catered. And I'm going to move in just a little bit here so you can see this. Okay, so and then once again I've added some recipe cards. And at the top here I have You Bake Me Happy. So then the next thing for the album, what it does is it opens up like this. And we'll move over to this side. And I've gone ahead and taken some more um, paper that I picked up at Joann's. And I believe this paper is TP... C or TPL, I think it's TPC, and it was just a single sheet. I was having a very hard time finding kitchen theme paper at Joann's, and I didn't have time to order anything online. So I just put these on the front here, and then when this opens up, it opens up like so, and then I've got another rest set of recipe cards and this one I've titled meats and then I have some pictures of some dishes that he's made or meat dishes that he's made and at the top I have what a ham that's what I stamped up there at the top so that closes up like that and then when you move over to this side I have another recipe set and this one I'm calling sauces and what I have here is a hollandaise sauce along with um, some asparagus. Now, this one, I didn't have any pictures of anything that he's made with sauces, but he has made a hollandaise sauce that was excellent that he made for me one year for Mother's Day. So I didn't take any pictures at the time, so I just grabbed this picture off the Internet. But his did look similar to that. That's why I took that picture. And along here, he has, uh, I mean, I put Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. Because I couldn't think of anything else to put for sauces. I didn't have a stamp to represent sauces, so I just used that one. And this paper right here that all the pockets are made out of is also some of the um, TPC paper that comes in a single sheet. So now... When you open this up on this side, once again, I have just a little um, fold out here that folds open like so. And in this one, I have the word soups. And I have a picture of some soups that he's made at a party that he catered. And I've stamped you measure up up here. And then I have the recipe cards in there as well. And then for the last page, in the middle here, I have what is labeled as vegetables. And then I have a picture of a veggie pizza that he made. And this one says cool beans. So it folds like this. And then it folds like this. 
and then like this, and then like this, and then it just ties. And then on the back, I've just gone ahead and put my stamp created just for you by and in my name. So that's my birthday present for my son for his 30th birthday. Now the other thing that I've gone ahead and done is I've also gone ahead and made a card and I made my envelope using my Martha Stewart scoreboard and I just stamped out happy birthday, hope your birthday is as sweet as you and this is from the stamp set that came with the Artiste cartridge by Close to My Heart and in the inside I've gone ahead and cut out this little card and this was also an SVG file and I'm sorry this was actually a Silhouette Studio file and I've taken some of the scraps of paper that I had left over from the mini album and made my card and I've also made the little pocket here for the spoon, the fork, and the spatula. And then I took and put two little buttons up here. Now it did come with two little circles to put across here, but I decided to put buttons instead. And when you open it up, it opens like this. And I've just stamped out your extraordinary and let us wish you a happy birthday. And that's from that Scrappy Mom stamp set. So that's it everybody. This is my finished project for my son's 30th birthday. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye.